Hi, my name is Bill Henriquez, and this is a craft for Cheerios. I'm going to show you how to make a little portable dollhouse out of a Cheerios box. A Cheerios box. Okay, so for this craft, you might actually need to eat two boxes of Cheerios because um, we need to use a little bit of extra cardboard from another Cheerios box for the little chair and the furniture and stuff. So first what we do is we take a craft knife and we just cut out our opening. Leave a little bit of a border around around the edge because it'll make it a lot stronger. Uh, you don't need to maze or anything. Just get a, a knife or scissors and then leave the bottom and cut. So then we open it up and then the dollhouse will stand like this. You can cut a little windows if you want. And then you see you can just open that up. And then I made a little bit bigger window on the other side. Okay, so there we go. I made four pieces of furniture here. For the yellow table and the chair, all I did was try to find a piece of yellow on your, your spare Cheerios box and just uh, cut a strip of cardboard just kind of a long strip like that and then we take and we will um, we bend up one end like that and then we bend down and then we just bend a little bit of a footrest like that. To make the table, it's even easier. Just take a little, little piece of cardboard again. I found another piece of yellow on the box. And then we just uh, fold one side of the table down for the leg and the other side of the table down. And that's it. Then you have a table. To make these little dining room chairs, cut two strips of cardboard. I wanted mine to be red. So I got a little non-toxic paint pen here. There we go. And now we bend up about an inch like that. Make another fold for the seat of the chair and another fold for the for the leg. And then I have a little double-sided clear tape here and you can stick a piece right in that fold so that you can stick it together and make the chair chair back stay. I've got a little extra length on that one so I'll trim it off so that it stands up properly and there you go. Do the same thing with this one. Finally I cut out a little um, piece of magazine for a rug Then I put my table and chairs on. You can cut out an, uh, something for the wall if you'd like. I have a little tiny printout of a painting I did. Put that on the wall. Stick it on there. If you want to have it be able to close nicely, you can take one last piece of cardboard. It looks like that. There we go. A couple of staples in there. You can use these little Velcro stickers. Stick one end of Velcro over there. I'm going to stick this one on here so it's lined up. And then we'll put it right where it goes. And then we'll attach that, press it down there nice and tight. Done. Now it closes. So that's it. Don't leave home without it. Thank mm -hmm. you.